It took me a very long time to learn how to U-turn that. Look at that. Look how easily he does that bastard. I can't use what I can't abuse. Okie dokie. So I guess I am officially moto vlogging. Another an odd sensation sitting around talking to yourself in your helmet. So I guess we're gonna go with XP, short for Xmas Puella, which is rather a mouthful. It has some um, personal significance. I'm not gonna tell you what it means, but I'm sure if you Google it, you could probably find out. I like to believe I'm secretly a superhero in disguise, so that'll kind of be a clue for you. So I honestly believe that the field of female motorcyclists is seriously underrepresented in most cases in gear, in motorcycles, in magazines and articles, in media review, and in moto vlogging. So one of my friends was nice enough to um, direct me towards certain moto vloggers out there that are available. Um, Ashfoot and Lori Jennifer and Miss 808 whose videos I have a terrible time watching because I get so jealous of the scenery um, in Hawaii but uh, I had a great time watching those videos but I just didn't think there was enough female moto vloggers out there one of the other things I guess I would like to do with my moto vlogs is I'd like to be able to show my family some of what I do uh, my family lives um, on the east, out east, um, in Toronto area. Uh, my parents, couple sisters, couple brother-in-laws, and a couple of nephews. All of them are residing in the Toronto area and have never been on a motorcycle as far as I know and have certainly never been out to Victoria to visit me. So I'm hoping that they'll watch my videos and will be able to experience some of the wonder of the west coast and maybe i'll talk one of them or two of them into moving out here so this is west sandwich road uh, this is one of my favorite places to ride i think the scenery out here is just gorgeous it's usually much better when it's not um, uh, broken with stupid white trucks going very slowly um, it's a very nice scenic road, and it's got a couple good twisties. Um, and it's uh, one of the first roads, actually I think it is the first road uh, I rode after I got my uh, learner's permit. Um, I passed my skills test in the morning, and in the afternoon we went out riding, and we came and did West Sandwich. And I think I did it at about 40 clicks. Um, and my palms were sweating and my heart was racing and the only thought in my head was, oh my god, I'm on a motorcycle. Um, so we're going to talk about, hopefully over the next little while, um, we'll be able to do some more videos talking about um, gear for women specifically. Because any girl who rides a bike will tell you there is not a whole lot of really good gear out there, uh, specifically designed for women. Um, so we usually end up kind of ad hoc and piecing together our gear. And some of the other tricks and trades of being a chick on a bike. Um, and we'll see how well that works. The majority of the time when I'm riding, um, people usually use it to uh, going for a run. You know, uh, you clear your head, you think about things, you process. I would say a good 90% of the time when I'm out riding, the only thing I'm thinking about is food. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's because I'm Italian or not. All I know is, generally speaking, 90% of my life, I wouldn't hesitate to say, uh, my brain is littered only with thoughts of what I'm going to be having for dinner that day. So, that being said, um, you'll probably hear me talk a lot about food. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to maybe throw in a few recipes for you. Um, I do predominantly only cook uh, Italian food, not that I don't like other types of food. I love every type of food. Um, I'm only really good at cooking Italian food though, so 
maybe one video will have how to make your own sauce. Because quite honestly, until I was probably an early teenager, I didn't actually know that you could buy tomato sauce. I had the ragu, prego, um, I, I mean I saw it on commercial, but it never actually registered in my brain that people bought it. Um, and I could never understand why you would want to buy terrible, shitty, store-made sauce when making your own sauce tastes better, is healthier, and a good sauce, a simple basic sauce, only takes you about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, and I mean, of course, you can spend all day making a, an amazing marinara sauce, but really, you, you don't need to do that. 10, 15, 20 minutes, you let it simmer for a little bit, and you have your own tomato sauce. You see, I'm, I'm already going off on food tangents. Um, you should pretty much get used to this, because um, I will probably do this a lot. I'm rather passionate about food. I love cooking it, and uh, even more, I love eating it. Which is what leads me to my second passion, uh, with running. I run a lot. I have to run a lot because, as aforementioned, I love to eat. Um, I also talk with my hands because I'm Italian, as you can clearly see, I will do this a lot. I will try to limit that to times when we're not doing anything that requires both hands on the steering. Um, what's going on here? We are almost at where we're going. I don't know how much longer this is going to last. Probably going to edit out 90% of the things I talked about because really I don't know if anyone wants to listen to an eight minute video where I talk about the benefits of making your own tomato sauce without actually telling you how to make your own tomato sauce. So I've just basically ridden around for X amount of time uh, talking to myself. Like I said, it's a rather odd sensation, but seeing how I'm Italian, used to kind of talking with my hands. And I'm used to talking, uh, period. Generally speaking, I talk a lot. Most people have to tell me to be quiet. Um, around the school, where am I going? Don't, huh. <laughs> sure, when editing this later, it'll be very interesting to watch how lost I am, because I don't know where I'm going. I'm supposed to look for a girl in a pink helmet. That was the directions I got. Look for the girl with the pink helmet. And I think, I think I passed it. I think it was somewhere else. I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn around. Shimapel lost. 